So the next thing is to edit the color. So the first thing I want to do is I almost want to go in and desaturate. So I'm doing an image, the adjustment layer here. I'm going into hue saturation. I'm going down just slightly because we do want those unrealistic skin tones. She's already quite pale, but I really like when the skin is kind of that milky color, especially with this ballerina shot. That's what I envisioned when I wanted to do this. So now I'm going to go on to adjustments again, and I'm going to go on to my curves. And I'm just going to start to play around with the RGB, um, the RGB. So on my blue, see that's already quite nice as it is. Just kind of going in there and taking down here, moving this layer up. So on our neutrals towards our darks, we want to take the background to more of a blue. Here, we want to take it down. And having this here is actually quite nice because taking this down adds the skin in this to more of a yellow tone. Then I'm going to go into my green. I'm going to start to experiment here. And it doesn't matter how strong it is at this point because, again, we can go down in the opacity after. Okay. And the red, I'm not too worried about moving the red because I don't mind her skin tone being away from red. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And just simply to get rid of things when you've made a curve is just to drag that dot down. So I don't really like the red too much. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth back there if I can. Yep. So that's given me a nice kind of neutral tone to work from. And I'm really happy with the way that that's kind of come out there. Then I can start to go in and do something like image the um, adjustment layer here going down to gradient map, because I always just experiment with this. And the thing to start with, I'm just going to move that up to the top. The thing to start with when you're using gradient map, because it is quite strong as a preview, just put it onto soft light, just so you can preview it, and just take it down a little bit. So then when you start to browse through, it starts to give you a better idea of where it can end up. And even this is quite nice, just looking at that, and kind of going through, playing around with the modes again. So we've got soft light, I love using screen, which adds kind of like a, a really nice kind of tone. And I like that, but it's probably a little bit too much, so I'm just going to have a subtle change to that. Okay. Now, if I wanted to further go ahead with that and add a texture, I would at this point. So I'm going to start to go from my texture library and, and go through and say to you guys which ones I would choose and why and experiment with them too.